Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about what kinds of a data are required for the SWOT modeling and how to process it. We require the save file of our study area, study watershed area, then topographical data like a DEM, LULC file, weather data like a precipitation, temperature, solar radiation, wind velocity, and relative humidity. For the save file of the water set, we can directly delineate from the ArcGIS and we can also download it from a website that is called Global Water Set. I'm going to show one example. Type here Global Water Set. Option Make Download. Search here your location area. My location, my study area is Gauri Ghat. Gauri Ghat, Kathmandu, Nepal. This is the river. So click here, delineate, and download it. Save file. You can also download the river, but it is not required here now. So it is prepared now. Now we have to prepare DEM for the study area. I am going to use the Astra Dam of 30 meter resolution. Go without boundary. Now we have to extract. DM for the study area extract by mark Make another folder. Input data. DEM. For LULC, I am going to use a uh, LULC of ICMO 2010. You can also use uh, updated data. Similarly, extract by mass. Now for soil, I am going to use sorter soil, sorter this is, this is in a vector form so we have to clip it, clip. Check the property. It is in a geographic coordinate system. We have to, uh, we need in our projected. So go to data management, projection, project.
the soil is in a vector form and we require in a raster so go to the conversion tool to raster feature to raster first of all we have to add the project tool dominant soil name then give the location raster soil ok now the data is prepared for the DEM, LULC and soil we also look, require lookup table for the LULC and soil which is in a text form I have already one sample of it I am going to show it now it should be in this format there should be value and the type of LULC so for the this open the attribute table of LULC we have to see this value and this uh, type of LULC one value is assigned to the for, uh, forest tree for the grassland and for this we, we have to write in the symbol like a forest FRST for that we have to uh, see in a database go to the C drive smart database and to 2012 SWAT then after go to crop here we can see the symbol and the name of the LULC okay then for the soil also For the soil it should be in the this format name and the value for that open the attribute table of soil this value and the dominant soil this in it should be in this format and to know this symbol we have to again see in the database we can find here in a user soil this is a symbol and this is the name of the soil for example we can see this symbol for this type of a soil and we can include here we can prepare this lookup table now now it is final now this topographical data are prepared now for the weather data we require the precipitation temperature for this we have to see the meteorological station okay add the meteorological station Okay, we have two uh, station here and one station near to it and we have well, we have we should have uh, collected data from your uh, your uh, institute and like I have collected the data from uh, DHM for this two station we have We have precipitation data for this two station and temperature data for this station. So in this study, I am only going to use this two station.
where the data it should be in the text form <coughs> for the precipitation we have to assign the location and the data of the precipitation it should be in this format like a id name lat long elevation and with this same name we have to give the we have to prepare the file and in this another file we have to give the date 1987 January 1 and we have to just copy paste from the excel the precipitation data here and similarly for this station now it is prepared now for the temperature data similarly we have to assign the location this uh, lat long elevation name and the id the temperature data should be in this format t max and t min to prepare this data we have to see in excel form like this is a t max and this is a t min and we have to use this formula concatenate in this form we will get in this format and we can just copy and paste it into text text form like in this form this date should be same for all the station after that uh, we, we are ready to run the model we are ready to set up the model and run the model so in the next video i am going to use this data to set up the model and uh, and do the for, uh, do the further analysis thank you so much